every now and then we're gonna peek out we're gonna give it a little look and then we're gonna we're gonna hide behind the wall again for a little bit so today we're gonna talk about recharging purigen specifically recharging purigen with bleach which is actually surprisingly shockingly easy to do so I actually I already did the first half of it so let me show you what our results are right now so this is our fully recharged nice white good looking purigen got a little bubbles there from the bleach see purigen is just a whole bunch of little beads if we leave this like this for too long it's gonna burst so now I'm gonna go into the second stage this is surprisingly simple. The first thing we're going to want to do is we are going to take our dirty Purigen bags and we're going to rinse them real good under the sink just to get any large debris and gunk off them and just rinse that right down the drain. Second step, we're going to take all the Purigen that was in those bags and we're going to dump it. I prefer to use a glass container because uh, then I don't have to worry about the bleach like getting it embedded in the, you know, if you use plastic or something, I'd be worried about bleach staying in the container. And in glass, you can just rinse it out, and then you're good. So you're going to separate the purigen from the bags, because we don't want to bleach our bags either. And then you're going to just, you're just going to just follow the directions on the actual purigen container, which tells you to do a one-to-one -one bleach to water formula uh, ingredients mixture mixture one-to-one -one mixture of water to our bleach and then I what I do is I stir it up a little bit and you can actually see it turning white like in real time like even as I'm doing this video you can see this getting whiter and whiter once it turns completely white like I was saying if we were to leave it for too long these beads would start to break down and turn to mush. So, it hasn't been the full 24 hours, but this stuff is pure white already. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute it a little bit just by... See, the purigen stays on the bottom. So, I'm just going to dump some down the drain. Make sure I don't dump my purigen. And then, I'm going to add water. Well... Hold on. First, I'm going to add my dechlorinator. Removes chlorine. It also, this stuff also uh, detoxifies nitrate, nitrite, and um, bleach. It also, it, it negates the bleach. What's the word? Neutralizes the bleach. And this is, this is the concentrated form of Prime. This is the same stuff. It's just in powdered form. I buy it because of the company. You only need to use a very, very tiny amount. So we're just going to, just because I have so much of it, uh, just like that. It's more than enough. And then we're going to add some water back in. Let that kind of do its thing. But over time, that will get less and less white. You get maybe five, five to ten cleans out of this uh, procedure. So now we've neutralized the water. I'm just going to take the end of a spoon and just kind of give it a little stirring. Really mix that around. The reason I put this outside is so that the bleach can evaporate. The bleach will just evaporate out of here after you know, about 24 hours. We're going to leave that for an entire other day now. Every now and then we're going to peek out. We're going to give it a little look. And then we're going to, we're going to hide behind the wall again for a little bit. There's our socks. Those are our socks from different clients. And we just cleaned all those. I should probably do a whole video about how to clean socks as well. Yeah, we're going to wait another two days. I guess about 24 to 48 hours for that. And I highly recommend this. This is a great way to save money in the hobby. You don't want to just be, you know, Purigen's expensive. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Give us a like and a subscribe if you like this video. And we will see you in the next one.